If you are in the market to purchase a new POS system for your restaurant, your bar, your brewery, coffee shop, whatever, you need to take it seriously, which means you're going to want to avoid these six deadly mistakes I'm going to share with you before you buy. All right, well, Heidi Ho there. It is Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from barpatrol.net and therealbarman.com. So having used dozens of POS systems myself in my 30 plus bar and restaurant career, I'm here to help you avoid the POS buying quicksand that will quickly pull you under and suffocate you if you do not know how to navigate the terrain. In fact, if you're interested, you can click on the link that comes up here. Also have it in the description and you can get my ultimate POS systems buyer guide, which is going to rank the top five POS systems for 2023 coming up. Okay. Including features, pros and cons, pricing, reporting, integrations, and more. And you get this guide for free because I love you in a platonic, non-creepy sort of way. Okay. This guide also has some amazing deals and discounts for those POS systems inside. And they are only for friends of mine like you. All right, you're not going to find those anywhere else. So with that said, let's jump into the six most common rookie mistakes you need to dodge and avoid when it comes to picking out your new POS system. Okay, first mistake is choosing a, a system that does not specialize in restaurants. Now, can you use a system like Square and Clover in your restaurant? Absolutely. Just don't plan on loving it or using it as a tool to make more money. All right, systems that were built for retail and then adapted to restaurants are not nearly as native and intuitive as POS systems that were built specifically to cater to the needs of both the front of the house staff and the managers of the restaurant. All right, make sure you get a POS system that specializes in restaurants. You're going to be much happier in the long run. Okay, number two, being too concerned with price. And I get it. Nobody wants to throw their money away and everyone wants a deal. But you can't just buy cheap because you always buy cheap. And that's just who you are. All right, you're the big, bad, buying bargain hunter. The BBBBH club for cheapos or whatever. All right, looking for a bargain POS system that runs your business is like bargain shopping for the cheapest car seat for your newborn baby. All right, you wouldn't do that. All right, unless you're a psycho, of course. It's too important of a decision. And that doesn't mean you can't look for the best value. You can do that. But it needs to be the right tools to run your business properly. Just like you need the right car seat to ensure your little loved one's safety. Okay, in addition, many POS systems appear cheaper on the service, but then they end up having hidden fees or you have to have like multiple add-ons and integrations and apps, which ends up costing more money in the long run anyway. All right, but the point is everything in your business should be running through your POS system. And if you choose the right one, it should actually help you make money. All right, not to mention save you time and sanity for everything it can do for you. And in the end, successful people invest in the tools to help them make money. And your POS system should be an awesome weapon that helps you kill it in your business. All right, number three, failing to consider order and pay options. Because in this day and age of online ordering and smartphones and QR codes, there are multiple options for your guests to both order and pay uh, when they go out to eat. Okay, this, uh, this didn't used to be like a top mistake or concern when it came to POS systems, but now it's become a major factor and it's only going to become more of a factor the more people get used to using their phones and ordering, even old people. Okay, your POS system should have these options, including the options to scan a QR code at the table and order right from their phones, as well as pay from their phones when they're ready to leave, including the option to split the tab with their friends. Okay, not only do many customers want these options more and more often, but your sales will actually go up by 20 to 30% because it is a proven fact that people order more from their phones than they do from a live person. And your labor is going to drop 10 to 15%. Even if you don't implement this ordering system right away, make sure your POS system has the option in case you want to implement it in the near future. Because whether you like it or not, the future is coming. All right, number four, failing to define exactly what you need. And that means when you're looking at these different systems, don't get all gaga over a few bells and whistles. Think about what features each of these systems offer and what integrations and add-ons you need to make sure you get everything you need for the best value for your type of business. Does that make sense? But also see if everything they have to offer because you might see something that you didn't even know existed in the POS system that's going to greatly help the efficiency and profits for your business, like the order and pay at the table option we just discussed, okay? Or that I discussed, you just sat there and I talked at you. All right, so sit down and write out everything you might need from accounting to staff scheduling to order and pay at the table if you want that, uh, to a great kitchen display system in the back, to great analytics. 
Then when you go into a live demo with the POS company, you won't just be jumping in blindly to a pool of crocodiles. All right, number five, buying one without great analytics. And now most of them claim they have great analytics, but it's just not true. All right, some do and some don't. Again, pick up my POS buyer's guide for free. All right, go get that. It's going to give you a starting point. But here's the issue with analytics. Many times a business will have great analytics and the manager never even looks at it. Now, this is the information that will help you make better decisions so you can run a more efficient and profitable business. All right, things like customer insights. How often uh, do your best guests come in? What do they eat? What do they drink? How much do they spend? How much do they tip? All right, things like your server insights that show your top sellers, your top table turnover time people, uh, how efficient they are. Things like your highest selling dishes. And not only your highest selling dishes, but the ones that actually get the guests to come back again. That's only a drop in the bucket. Having great analytics is a luxury that you cannot afford not to have. So don't just glaze over the reporting section when it comes to your research. All right, this is where the cheese is made, which makes your bank account nice and chubby. All right, and then finally to number six, failing to sign up for a live demo. And I repeat myself over and over on this. And it seems remedial, but I know many of you out there just keep researching and you're looking and you're reading up on POS systems and you're wasting hours of time like you're doing in this video right now, uh, when it's just so easy to have an expert walk you through the system and show you exactly what it does. It's like 30 minutes, all right? And you can ask all the questions you have um, and really see if it's a good fit for you and your business, all right? Don't be lazy here. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, you can watch my video here on the 10 questions you need to ask before buying a PO system, you know, if you wanna do more research, even though I just told you not to, all right? But I know, I know you can't help yourself, so go ahead and go watch it. Okay, so that's going to do it for the day. Uh, I hope that helps. Don't forget to get my free buyer's guide for the best POS systems out there. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I am going to see you next time. I'm out.